um, mutual fund investment policies. Um, you can literally invest in just about anything you could imagine in mutual funds. You can invest in commodities, uh, gold, silver. Um, you can invest in agriculture. You can invest in sector funds that might uh, um, that focus on some sort of technology. Um, medical, pharmaceutical, just pretty much, uh, if you can imagine it, it's probably probably available somewhere. Um, first type of uh, investment policy is a money market mutual fund. Is a money market mutual fund is a very short term uh, in, um, in investment. They're gonna invest in commercial paper, purchase agreement and CDs. Uh, money market mutual funds, uh, typically look very much like an interest-bearing checking account. The one thing to note about them is they're not uh, insured by the FDIC. So, uh, but their typ the typical investments are, uh, are very, very secure uh, types, of, types of investments, very, very high grade security. So risk, risk associated with investment is, is minimal. Uh, equity funds. I invest in stocks and may potentially some fixed income and other securities. Uh, it should be noted, almost any fund uh, that is an open-end fund is going to have cash on hand. Uh, so some some portion, uh, probably a very small portion, is going to not going to be invested, uh, and that is to handle any redemptions that take place. So. Um, Equity sec sector funds, I mentioned these, uh, stocks concentrated in, in a particular industry. Bond funds specialize in a fixed income or the bond sector of the market. Uh, global funds invest on, in uh, worldwide securities. Uh, global funds include uh, stocks in the U.S. International funds are similar, are similar however they exclude U.S. Uh, equities. The regional funds, they invest in uh, foreign securities from certain regions. Uh, uh, at one, one time, uh, Asian funds were uh, very popular. Not sure how popular they are today, but they were uh, very popular when different regions of Asia were growing, growing very rapidly. Uh, you, can, uh, um, you can also invest in uh, uh, and emerging markets funds, which are securities from de uh, developing nations. Emerging mar market funds tend to be very, very risky. Uh, the potential for high returns is great, but the uh, um, but they are, are very, very risky. Other types of funds. Uh, balance funds typically hold equity and fixed income uh, securities, and it, you know, Balance fund would typically be a, a 50 50 mix between equities and fixed income. Uh, life cycle funds, static allocations, um, would, they would hold equities and fixed incomes in stable proportions. Uh, life cycle fund targeted maturity, typically targeted towards retirement. Uh, the target, the, the think of somebody. Um, thinking about retirement say you're 45 years old you would buy a and you wanted to assuming you wanted to retire in 20 years you would buy a 20 year targeted maturity life cycle fund and uh, the investments would become more and more conservative as uh, you age the uh, um, for example, uh, the uh, stocks would probably be sold off, and and the fund would invest in uh, in shorter and shorter maturity bonds as they so the if the equity proportion would decline over time, fixed income proportion would increase, and the maturities would decline as well. Um, uh, we also have asset allocation or flexible funds. They hold equities and fixed income securities. The proportion is going to vary depending on the, their their forecast for the market. So they're going to try and time the market. So if uh, they feel like um, interest rates are decline, going to decline, they would probably um, put their uh, um, 
investments in fixed income, if they think the market's going to take off, they would switch to equity and so forth. Um, on the other end, uh, that, that spectrum is what we call index funds. And index funds to try to match the performance of some sort of index. The, uh, they're, it's, they're not trying to time the market and so forth. So what they're going to do is buy whatever portion of the, the, the security that the index holds and try to mimic that index. Uh, uh, one of the most popular index funds are, um, there are many, many fund, index funds that invest in, uh, for example, the S&P 500. Um, the, uh, um, uh, also, we'll talk about fairly, uh, fairly soon, we'll talk about uh, exchange traded funds. Uh, the uh, exchange traded funds are, are likely to be a better option for investing in index funds than our mutual funds. Uh, Fund of funds, simply a mutual fund that invests in other mutual funds. Table 4.1 just shows the uh, breakdown of U.S. mutual funds by investment classifications. Uh, the, we have uh, um, the columns, the assets in billions, uh, percent of total assets and number of funds. Uh, we have uh, equity funds that are... Uh, the um, total equity funds are um, uh, eight and a half uh, trillion dollars, or uh, um, eight, um, that represents uh, fifty-two point five percent of the total market. This is uh, uh, I don't see the date on this chart, but um, anyway, there were four thousand seven hundred fifty-two equity funds. There were you know. Broke, split up between capital appreciation, world and international, and total return. Then we have bond funds. The uh, three point six five uh, trillion dollars in, invested in uh, bond funds. Two thousand one hundred and seventy six uh, funds, you know, representing twenty two point three percent of the market. The uh, hybrid funds there, the one point three trillion, eight and a half percent of the market. Then uh, we have money market funds at the, down at the bottom, you know, taxable and tax exempt. There are money market funds that you were, allow you to invest in tax exempt securities. So the interest on that account would be uh, exempt from taxes. Uh, probably more beneficial uh, if we were in a, a higher interest rate environment. Total market, uh, U.S. market, $16.3 trillion. There are eight. 8,066 funds total. 